<clears throat> all right guys so um well <laughs> i saw this game when it was just about to be released and i was like oh my god i really like this game so i think i'm gonna try it out and then we're gonna see if uh, it's worth like continuing i do have a bunch of games lined up so well, uh, this is uh, in contention for being continued um, along with the uh, orcs um, i mean we're gonna check it out and then we'll see so this game it's uh, circ electric and it's a uh, Darkest dungeon mixed with darkest dungeon mechanics mixed mixed with uh, we happy few like atmosphere slash uh, almost story and then mixed with we just played um, the call of the lamb mixed with like that type of base management and so yeah I think like so similar to like the the, you bring the resources from the, your expedi expeditions uh, back home to your camp and then your like your base and then you build more uh, use those resources to build your base and then etc etc so uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna be a, like the like actual base building like Call of the Lamb but we're gonna see so we're just gonna start blind here with new game Co Codex Okay, this is for like tutorial, I guess. We're gonna see if there is tutorial here. Alright, well Significantly lower rewards for battles, circ shows and exploration. So for this type of game I'm I'm really like I'm not really good at um, at, at this type of type of game. So like, you know, I feel like my skills are like turn based slash card build, a uh, card or deck building card games. That's my like strong suit. And then like these um, dark, uh, the uh, Call of the Lamb, like action based um, games. I'm okay at and then like these the dark I, I i didn't really get darkest dungeon mechanics um i played that uh, that world war ii game that has the darkest dungeon mechanics and it was uh, fine it was pretty good it was actually not too bad but i didn't really get darkest dungeon as like the, the actual Darkest Dungeon game, so uh, we're just gonna start on normal here, like these type of games I'm just kind of iffy on, like yeah I mean, yeah, well, we're just gonna start with normal less rewards for battles, circus show, shows and, and exploration Negative state of mind effects trigger more often. This is normal. Enemies have normal damage and dodge values. Characters don't regenerate health at the end of the day. Oh, what? Circus shows have stricter requirements. Okay, well, we're just gonna go with normal. Let's go. I mean, easy would be, I think, just too easy. I promised myself I would never see him again. Hey, there's voiceover. Ten years is far too soon. After what he did. <laughs> Yet here I am, reporting on the least important story for tomorrow's paper. The grand reopening of his circus electric. He hasn't lost his charisma. I'll give him that. So I guess we're playing as him? Always giving them something new. Something bigger. Something more dangerous. 
I've seen these two before. That's their happy face. <laughs> Maybe they'll arrest Uncle. That'd be a story I could get behind. What are they doing? Die! What? Die! Die! Then I hear him. Crook! Bolty! Save my niece! Oh wow, nice transition into <laughs> the actual gameplay. Bring these bothersome All right. bodies to their knees. Uh okay. Here's a tutorial. Overcome your opponents in battle with skills. Each other character can use one skill every turn. <clears throat> Author. <laughs> I do believe your rubber ball cracked his rib. <laughs> Jolly good show, Grok. <laughs> what? They can defend? Matters. Certain skills can only be used in certain positions and against specific target slots. Both are indicated in the skills description. You can also man manually move teammates front forward or further back during combat. Alright, well, so recently I got a new graphics card, so let me try to make this 4K. Alright, so hopefully hopefully now it's 4K and we're we're gonna see we're gonna test this on this first video here and then Yeah, and then I'll check and then we'll see what happens. Uh yeah, okay. Balthazar skill called front blow would be useful here. However, front block is only available for use in the first position. Rock rockets. Forward. Balthazar, don't attack. Just move forward. Trust me. Not only can Grok use Prothor in any position, it's also effective against all enemies. This? Each character acts once in their turn in order determined by the value of their initiative uh, attributes. Okay, so um Devotion. How do we check their defensive? <laughs> oh, the reputation of Cirque like a trick. Uh Essential to maintain the life of wolf performers, food, this is money. That's experience. This is the exper experience skin, I think. <laughs> A rather eventful reunion I think. <laughs> after 10 years, was it not, Denise? Saving lives isn't really your style, I thought. But thank you.
Uh, we have now a lion. <laughs> I see your mother's lion remains as spirited as ever. Yes, and just as blind. No thanks to you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some facts to gather. Ah, for your circus story. Of course. Dear God, no. I need to understand what the hell just happened here. That's the new story. Come, let's find Dr. Mabry. He hid once this maddening took hold, but... But he's a brilliant man. With brilliant thoughts. Maddening. Yes, it's called Unlike the maddening. Company. Hm. I'll not have you speak of Grok in that way. Or growl, as it were. In 1874, the voice printed the own manifesto, a scientific call to arms that single-handedly started the technological revolution known as the Spark. Where is Dr. Mabry? We've looked everywhere. Not quite everywhere. Circus expansion train is unlocked. There's a train? Far... Oh, fire below our performers may, may appear in the train to be recruited. Oh, that's, this is the recruitment. No Dr. Mabry in here, but I do believe I spot some new talent. A unique element that can be used for specific things. Effective tools are needed in all areas of the circus. Tools. Food. Okay, so I see that this is more like... Um, more like Darkest Dungeon, the, the base. So you click on, on everywhere to go to, to them. I guess, uh, yeah. I would actually like a more like a base building aspect to this game, but I really did like the base building from uh, Call of the Lambs. <laughs> Anyways, Chris Bobby coming right for us. Tell me, Bertha the Fireblower. Bertha the Fireblower. Were in a fight? A uh, fight, sir? Oh, he brought a mime. Filled the amaze meter by performing successful attacks against the vicious. Devotion largely determines the character's effectiveness in battle. Our devotion bars may lead to higher damage and chance to hit. I mean, we can only do this attack. Yes, yes, Bertha! Her very name puts the breath in fire breathing. Using certain skills within a battle can instantly increase it or decrease the devotion of targets. Trumpet boost. Boost for only one turn. Define trumpeting, Brock. Everyone's increased devotion inspires us all. Wow, I can't believe they have. Like, voiceover for everything. <laughs> Maybe this is just for the uh, tutorial? Devotion may have two different values. Base value constantly affects the character's effectiveness, while the temporary value only lasts for a few rounds. Twenty percent precision penalty. What's with the defense? Like, I don't... How do you see their defense? Like your own performers, reducing opponent's devotion may lessen their effectiveness. If the devotion of the opponent or player character drops it to zero, they will flee the battle.
Moves and taunts. Where can I see their experience bar? <laughs> Each character can only use one skill, one item per turn. Is this fighting normal for you, Ringmaster? Only very recently. You just endangered this poor girl's life. Bertha, are you hurt? A scratch or two. Nothing a night in the sleeping cart won't heal. Sleeping card is unlocked. Injured performers can relax in the sleeping card, but they cannot participate in anything else in the meantime. Must recover. Yvonne, so lovely to see you, banged up as you may be from. Survival. I think this is more of Perhaps a story base rather than the darkest dungeon. Where you just where the the actual characters can well basically just die <laughs> if they yeah if they die they're dead and then and then you're not really too worried about it unless they're really high level but that's the part of the game <laughs> dying I guess it it, it it is part of the game but. For this one, I feel like the characters are actually important to the story, so I don't know how that's gonna work out. So perhaps the sleeping heart should be your should be yours for the evening. Takes time to heal. And here comes Dr. Mabry. Help! 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 Oh. Save me from these relentless brigands! More of these fop doodles? Oh, bugger. Okay, another fight. Characters with a positive state of mind gain great combat bonuses. Isn't she... <laughs> what? Isn't she in rest? Although devotion can increase some skills damage and chance to hit, devotion does not affect every skill. Skills affected by devotion are highlighted with an electric effect around their icons. Positive, positive or negative effect of devotion is highlighted in, in parentheses with each skill description. Okay, um, somehow, Seventy six health. I mean, that whack is just so strong. Oh, this. This skill doesn't hit first target. Oh. 
Okay. A high dodge attribute increases the character's chance to avoid enemy attacks. Oh, okay, there's the days counter as well. Days always end after battles. After battles. The circus results and character status reported from there. Okay, so everyone eats a food at the end. And I guess Yongne is also part of the team. I guess we will use her, we get to use her later on. And that's my guess. Okay, there. Okay, now she's in the team. Effects from buildings are, in, are realized the following day. What? Oh, I, I... Did we put Yongbei in there? You want my opinion on this, don't you, Amelia? The pillar of power you what? designed. Wait, was who is you? Exactly then, everything around us went to hell. You, uh, you should see what happened to the London Bridge. Okay, I'm missing. A, I'm, I'm mixing up these names here. The London Bridge has it fallen down, my fair Mabry? Or worse, it, it disappear. disappear? My drones confirm it. Vanished. Vanished? How? I, I can get you there uh, to see for yourself uh, with a map. I just need, just need time. Uh, may I bring it to you shortly? All things come shortly from you, Ollie. Join us at the circus tent when you can. That's where she'll be with me, watching how I plan my shows. What? You don't want to recruit more talent at the train first? A marvelous suggestion, Amy. First the train, then the circus tent. Okay, never mind. Okay, so you do get... It is like Darkest Dungeon where... These uh, classes are not unique. Okay, so, um... Fire... Okay, so we have a fire bruiser, a clown, and... I guess, recruit the three guys. Okay. Escape artist performers may be appear in the train train to be recruited. Circus tent is unlocked. New circus show draft available. And this is how it's done. Select the village road show draft as a first step. You will get more drafts later. The next step in preparing for a circus show is to select the appropriate performers. Every performer has a per preferred performance type, but may also, uh, but may also per, but are, but uh, but are, oh, but many are also particular about with whom they like to work. The more attention you pay to the chemistry of your performers, the more successful your shows will be. Okay. Sure. That's pretty complicated, but sure. Look here to see which perform performance type the character perf prefers. The chemistry bar change. Uh, the chemistry bar charges at a much lower rate if the icon and performer performer card does not match its assigned on the table. 
The green icon here indicates this performer enjoys working with a specific, the specified character class. The red icon indicates the opposite. To the left, the character's own class is highlighted. Oh, I can't use these four? What? The line connecting the two characters shows how effectively they work together based on the chemistry icon. Green indicates a strong relationship. Character compatibility is displayed in the chemistry bar with higher ratings earning more stars. The more stars you accumulate, the more rewards you can earn from performances. Huh, I guess the 1, 2, and 3 does make a difference. Here you can distribute distribute the stars you earned in the next in the previous step to best yield benefit benefits from your next performance. Distribute your stars without exceeding the potential value of a draft in any category. Once you have distributed all the stars available, his announce button. The event will be held later today, and the next day's newspaper will, will report the results. Since they are busy with the show, selecting selected performers can't be used for anything else for the rest of the day. Okay, so you have to have enough people for more performers for, for the show as well as people available to fight, to go, to go on uh, skirmishes or adventures. Audience entertainment complexity. Come on, come on. Take place after the next battle. What a waste of time. You love it. Toy. <laughs> <laughs> This is so f stupid. Wait, what was that? Die, die! These you guys are bloodthirsty, <laughs> vicious. <laughs> they just call me in. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> but it's pretty funny. Uh, they just uh, come in and then start fighting. You can fill the maze meter faster in crowded battles. Crowded by the battles? Well, there is crit as well. Um oh, let's go for the boost. The clown is always able to defend. Um This is like a polling thing. Oh, this is this is everybody. Huh. Sure. 
Show off increases your character's devotion permanently. And I can only use this here. Everything else is. Yes! And that, boys and girls, is why he's so often the main event. The Skycon represents all active status effects in active by show off. Whether positive or negative, skills can inflict active status effects upon allies or enemies, often for multiple turns. Deal, this deals a lot of damage. Mages. Yeah, can kill too. Rage. Okay, so now we have a lot of a lot of active. I mean, everything is unlocked. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, so we are not running out of food, hopefully. <laughs> Transformer, Sparker, Distilled Water. These are, uh, I assume, more like rare resources. When your character is ready to level up. Characters level up several of their attributes increase. For each level up, the characters can distribute 10 points to increase their circus act value. Higher circus act values are essential for more complex shows. Okay, so. Laugh, fun, amazement. I guess. Sure. <laughs> this the skills can be upgraded up to the character's level. Use skill upgraders to strengthen your skills. Um, Boomerang, this hits everybody. Weight throw. This hits everybody, but decreases devotion. Um Okay, so I need this thing here. 
to upgrade this this resource here so everybody would probably need that resource so i'm probably gonna need to uh wait wait on it dodge reduction chance I think I want this. No, this this is reducing the enemy's dodge, right? Because why would this percentage increase otherwise? If it's in, if it's reducing my own dodge, that doesn't make sense. Okay, I'm gonna take that as well. Amelia, I I have this for you. For answers. A map? It'll get you to the vanished bridge. Through all the dangers. Alright, we're finally going on Just an how adventure. Do you these dangers, Dr. Mabry? Very. But you see, that's the beauty of this map. I have drones, I have the police radio, I know what's what's out there such as okay so we do have a surveillance thing behind my evacuees surveillance Bonded violence a bunch of who knows what how specific this map will keep you safe safer anyway then i shall put it to good use thank you dr mabry i guess it's our okay so Amelia is leading the excursion team. Too much information, feeling lost, can remember previously explained gameplay mechanics. Press this button for instant help or use the codex to view previous tutorials. Embark. Embark. So they, they do have different skills. I think I need a back row. <laughs> Everything is full now. Who is hurt? Anybody hurt? Okay, 58 out of 60. Um, it's, it's just a waste. Okay, so I can use these guys. I I don't understand, but I guess we'll use these guys. I don't understand what's the like how to assign them to teams and stuff. There's no... Okay, that's pretty good. I don't understand. I don't understand why... Christina here is really bad.
but Okay, so we get these from the performances, these rare resources. Small cast, huge cast. All right, well, let's embark. Not so fast, young lady. The story's out there, Uncle. So I'm going out there. Yes, of course you are, but not without some help. Help? From whom? Your second-rate performers who aren't good enough for the prayer. Hey. They're, they're not second-rate. Oh, negative spin, and only mostly inaccurate. They're a devoted bunch, and they'll fight like old boots for you. Your safety matters, yep. Amy. You're offering safety? You? Amy, your mother's accident. I... I know you'll never forgive me, but... Goodbye, Uncle. Good luck with the show. I guess I'm stuck with the four of you, but what order suits you best? 